Ready to take your first shot? Taking your first shot is a big step. This is one of the final lessons before you'll be able to live off the land and catch a dinner. Before we take our first shot, many of us think that we shoot a spear gun similar to a rifle, where we have one hand down the barrel and the other one near the end looking down the scope. This is your first mistake. Now, the issue with that is that a spear gun has some mono line at the bottom and you also have loaded rubber. So holding that in your left hand can possibly get your hand caught with many problems. And the second major issue, I have a very personal friend that's done it himself, shooting down the rock with this close to his mask. The recoil went back into his mask, shattered the glass and also left him a nasty bruise. Now this is how you hold the spear gun. The first thing we do is we stretch out our arm and we make sure we use one hand away from our face. If we need to use a second hand, we can wrap it around our first hand. The most important thing is we never have this second hand around the barrel or mono line. And most importantly, a gun has recoil, so we never keep close to our face. Now it may be a little bit more difficult on land to hold out the gun like this. However, underwater will be much easier. So now we know how to rig up, hold and load our spear gun. So now it's time to go down and practice a few shots. So we can set up a target like this, put it in a few holes and attach it to some weights to bring it down and keep it underwater. Firstly, we're going to breathe up and dive underwater down to the sea floor, using either the sand or a rock to prop ourselves up on. Try and slow your heart rate and relax. With the spear gun in your dominant hand, straighten your arm and look down the barrel lining up your target. Once you're relaxed and have the shot lined up, pull the trigger. It's important to keep a straight arm as this will not only assist your accuracy, but it will ensure that you do not hit yourself in the face with recoil. Now continue practicing your shot using your target. And what we should do is extend our distance to around four to six meters. Now be sure when you're taking your shot, you have a float line and float attached so that when you have that shot, you can let go of your gun and resurface. 